Oh, fucking hell, guys. I think this video is about to start in the same, same sort of vibe as the last one. It's just, I haven't felt this bad. I haven't felt this depressed and just bad in so many years. It's just so many things going on at once and just bad times right now, to be honest. I just, I'm feeling really, really bad about many things. I feel like my head's in a very, very low spot right now. I'm just going now to train, training back, hoping to feel a bit better, but yeah. Yeah, it's a culmination of many things. Um, I guess I'm just trying to be transparent with it here because I think we all probably go through this at some point. At some points during our lives where just everything feels like it's not working. Yeah. I don't want to go through all of the things that aren't, like, because there's so many and uh, some more private and, well, professional or something, you know, than others. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I guess I could talk about Strongman. Are you guys, do you guys watch here? Do you follow Strongman at all? Or do you, do you just watch my channel? Um, I would think that most people, like most of my subscribers watch, you know, Strongman in general, the comps that are going on. Like uh, this weekend, coming weekend, they're holding the Giants Live World Deadlift Championships in Vegas, Las Vegas, in Nevada, USA. I'm excited for it. Um, I'll probably watch it. I mean, I have an account with official strongman. <clears throat> and, you know, they're going for the famous 505 kilogram deadlift, you know, uh, or that's, I think, the goal for at least three, guy, three guys. Um, Graham Hicks, who I met a few months ago, I think when I met him, it was like he was about 16 weeks out. So, wow, it's been, been a while. Time flies. And uh, then it's Ivan Makarov, and uh, oh, who's the third guy again? Oh, I don't remember. remember. Hicks, Ivan Makarov, and Rauno Heinle, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be interesting watching that. I mean, it's just so, so crazy. Ever since my little injury, well, not little, but big injury, injury that's taking more than half a year to heal. It's now, I think we're now closing in on almost eight months. It happened in uh, March, 7th of March, which is the third month. We're getting into the 10th, we're the 10th, getting to the 10th month. Okay, so it's almost seven months since. It's still not healed, still feel numbness. Some days are better than others. It's just an ongoing thing. But I get back to the deadlift, do I think, who, who do I think will is the most likely? I don't know, I want Hixie to be, to be the one to do it. But uh, yeah, I, I hope he does. I hope he gets like a lot of strength on game day and does it. Yeah. But I do wonder, because we're not, you know, the, the, the Brits, the people from England are not used to traveling, you know, as seas, I think, for competitions as much as, you know, guys from other nationalities, you know, flying over, because Giants Lab is mostly held in, held in England, Great Britain. I don't know the differences between that, but yeah. So that's gonna be interesting if that's gonna be a factor. I'm not sure. They're already in Vegas right now. I've seen, oh yeah. I'm sorry guys, I'm in a really shitty mood and shitty talking and like this is probably a big bore to watch. Um, I'm, I think I'm just gonna fast forward to the training. When I get to the gym, I am going to uh, charge my battery for the camera because I forgot to charge it now. So I'll just go over the workout as it goes, I think. All right, see you in the gym. All right. 
First exercise, well, we've already done the subscapular strengthening and the uh, hanging leg raises, just a little bit. Now, uh, yeah, high row, going for more weight, 8 to 12 reps than last week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Good shit. Wow, so much sweat in my ass that I can barely keep it moving. That was uh, a PB, yeah. Good shit. One more set. Okay, next up, ISO row. We're doing it with more weight than last week. Of course, last week I was recovering still pretty heavily from the surgery. The last time I did this, but uh, yeah, let's go. Same rep range, eight to twelve. feeling better and it's sort of fun change to be wearing a flannel shirt from caveman by the way uh, during my workout kind of like a pump cover Good shit. okay bent over dumbbell row got 60 pounds here on here 12 to 20 reps bit disgusting but uh, Let's do it. I need to make this a bit heavier. I just remembered that I, last time I did this exercise, I was doing it without the incline bench. So of course, there's a lot of support there. So I'm gonna increase it to this two at least. 85 pounds. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, Romanian deadlifts. I always love these because they're the closest I get to do to normal deadlifts, which I miss so much. Cut on here 120 kilograms, 10 reps. 
All right, let's go. That's it. I can definitely tell that my right side is stronger than my left side. So strange with, the ner these, with these nerves and stuff. But the numbness is getting less. Hopefully it's moving in the right direction. Ah, okay, second set. Like I've said before, what I'm trying to focus on is, is you know, tearing the world apart into their separate uh, in the opposite directions so it activates my glutes and hamstrings a lot more uh, doing that throughout the exercise Good shit. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Preacher curls. 10 to 15 reps. Let's go. Ah. Exercise, rope, attachment, hammer curls, 10 to 15 reps. And I have to step on a wooden plank because I'm not tall enough for this. Let's go home. <clears throat> da -da. Da -da. Da -da. I want you to play this during I'm talking. <laughs> Super successful training session. This is becoming a theme where I'm like totally 
so depressed before training. Oh. And then as I'm training, when I finish, I feel so much better. Uh, maybe, I hope not though. I hope I will start feeling soon better. I'm <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, I hope I will soon start feeling better just in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, about, wow, look at that car. If I knew something about cars, I could say what car that is, but it, wow, that looks really cool. Um, yeah, don't really want to get into what's been going on. It's just private stuff. Um, but training certainly does make me feel better. Better about myself, better everything. There's that car again. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Where was I going with that? Yeah, training makes me feel better. It probably makes everyone feel better. It gives you dopamine and serotonin and just, yeah, you time. Really good you time. And it, it, not just that, it's not that you just need you time because just watching TV or playing video games doesn't make me feel anywhere close to what I feel right now. Sure, it makes me feel relaxed and sort of in like just, it just makes time go by, but it doesn't give me any sort of fulfillment. I don't know, maybe watching TV shows and playing video games is sort of like masturbating. <laughs> it makes you feel good, but it doesn't provide any fulfillment. You know, you understand, you know, life fulfillment. Chasing your goals and working towards something really does. I don't, at least for me personally, you know, uh, entertainment doesn't do that for me. I can't imagine how it would, but I guess, you know, to each their own. Yeah. Um, but surely films and shows can, you know, it make me feel goosebumps and almost like I'm about to cry and stuff. You know, in my flight to Barcelona, I watched How to Train, Tame Your, How, how to Tame, How to Train, How to Train Your Dad Dragon three it made me cry it like it 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 made me feel so many feelings i was just battling holding back the tears for such a big part of the movie because <laughs> uh toothless reminds me so much of my cat drogo and it's just like i love him so much he's my he's my baby boy he's my son you know it's just it's you know uh yeah so <laughs> Yeah, it tugged on my heartstrings because me and Otrogo, we have like a special bond. You know, uh, females have come and gone, <laughs> but nobody bonds with my boy Drogo like me. No one. So like, I don't know, it's just, he's my boy. It reminded me of him. Um, you know, and he's now, I got him in 2017, which would make him seven years old, so. I hope he has uh, many, 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 many years left. I mean, he's an indoor cat. Yeah. But this is nice, 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 nice feeling. Beautiful scenery, it's 11 degrees outside. I can see the moon right over there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So the elections are coming up in the US. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? I can't vote, so I'm not going to say anything. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm starting to. Just like, like my, my policy is, you know, finance is personal stuff. You don't talk about your finance too much. You know, I think it's okay to say something's expensive or cheap or something, but... I would never dwell into numbers or any sort anymore. I used to do that when I was younger, but sort of experience taught me that it's better to keep your finance just, you know, just to you and your uh, significant other. I feel like I'm starting to feel the same about my political opinions, because uh, those can get some pretty heated debates. And I often just keep like, I, if I say say some a political opinion or um, a candidate that I agree with on a certain matter or something, I get a 
just such a big reaction out of some people that I've just started to, as soon as people start talking politics, I laugh, and uh, but I never insinuate any in any way how I'm feeling sort of towards uh, things. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that with the Icelandic poli pol uh, politics as well. Um, just keep it to myself, you know. Maybe discuss things, but never truly show my cards, if you will. <laughs> There's a car in front of me with a license plate, Trippi. Trippi, like a trip. Uh, interesting. Yeah, all right guys, I think I'm gonna let that be it for today. Yeah, hope my mental state will start feeling better on a day-to-day -day basis, especially before going to the gym and just sort of start, whoa, and try to stop overthinking. Like that's what's been, that's what I've been doing a lot recently, just overthinking, overthinking so much to the point that I'm, it's just very, very damaging and toxic and, and causing depression. Um, yeah. Can't let things get too much to me, I guess. And stop overthinking. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, again, hope you're having a good one. Hope you're taking care and being safe and following your dreams. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Live long and prosper. Bye.